How bad was the Jimmy Savile stuff at the BBC? How bad was the cover-up? I know that there's someone called Miriam Jones who's spoken and it's been published in one of the mainstream news, I think it's The Guardian, but also the Press Gazette. Miriam Jones was the producer for BBC Newsnight. He's come out publicly, he lives in Wales, he was a BBC producer for Newsnight. He's come out publicly and said that everyone on the right side of the Jimmy Savile situation was viewed as traitors and, and removed. So basically, when that story broke within the BBC, there's a programme that BBC Panorama um, produced called What the BBC Knew. So the BBC Panorama were investigating BBC Newsnight. Very interesting programme. You can still see it on YouTube. So the BBC investigating itself. And a lot of the executives within the BBC refused to be on that programme. They're the ones that are still there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ones that came out and said, wait a second, why aren't we doing anything on, on Jimmy Savile? And they'd been talking about it for years, investigated him. All of the evidence was there. All the witnesses were corroborated. Um, two source, BBC need two sources. They've got two source evidence for all of it. And this BBC was still failing to push it out. The people that wanted that Jimmy Savile exposed, they were the ones that have been that were pushed out, made redundant. The people that were weren't traitors were kept on. And so I would look at that that what was interesting, what happened with the Jimmy Savile story. The reason it came out in the end was ITV sent the BBC um a press release saying, We've got the information we're gonna we're gonna publish, and they forced it. So it was um it was the it was ITV because they're very close and they they keep together and they protect each other. ITV forced it, so they thought right if if ITV are going to tell everyone Jimmy Savile's a paedophile, we're going to have dead. to. After he was dead, of course it was after he was. That's dead, what I'm yeah. saying. So don't get me started on Epstein. You know, do you know what I mean? So what is the Epstein story? What the fuck's the script with him? The suicide was that murder? You think? I'm basing everything I say on the information that I have heard. Mm -hmm. I don't know Epstein. Um, what I'm very interested in is the WikiLeaks e email documents, um, you know, the Podesta emails and the Clinton Foundation. And I was watching was it John Pilger and um, Julian Assange YouTube video yesterday and I had 80,000 views and I thought, this is outrageous. This should have 800 million views. Julian Assange talking about the corruption within the Clinton Foundation um, and, you know, Bill Clinton supposedly was on Jeffrey Epstein's private plane 30 times. You know, Prince Andrew was his mate. Prince Andrew was seen. This is what's interesting. Prince Andrew was seen in Jeffrey Epstein's house in 2010 after Jeffrey Epstein had the conviction for child paedophilia. Um, why was it only released now, 2019? That video has been sitting somewhere. And probably there are newspaper editors and TV editors who are holding on to information uh, about individuals, keeping it back. Why did they release it now, nine years later? Oh. And that was what forced Prince Andrew to make a statement about Epstein. It was only when that video was released nine years later, 2019, filmed in 2010, mm -hmm. that Prince Andrew then finally, because the, the royal household, the royal press team generally don't make any statements but it was so bad, that video. This is why this video is so powerful. So I would say to anyone watching, if they're a victim of abuse or injustice, film it, okay? Even if you don't publish it, you've got it. So, so Jeffrey Epstein, Prince Andrew was at the door of Jeffrey Epstein's house two years after he was convicted. A convicted paedophile. And when that was published, that video was published, that's when it was all over the media and Prince Andrew was forced to make a statement. But I don't know what happened to Jeffrey Epstein other than that I, from what I have read and the evidence I have read and watched and, and gathered, I believe he is, he has a lot of, he had a lot of information and video Who's going to expose? of high profile individuals, possibly Tony Blair, Bill Clinton, possibly Trump, who knows, of them in compromising situations with young women.